All right. I am Sir Tap Tap, and this. Well, hopefully you've heard of this, because this is Donkey Freaking Kong Country One. And let me just say, I'm so glad that this is on Switch Virtual Console. I didn't know it was until today, um, because I was about to play it from the Wii U, and that sucks. Oh, oh god, it's. I had to play it on Wii mode on Wii U, which means I have to plug in a. Um, uh, plug in a Wiimote. I have to set up my sensor bar, all of this crap. But no, not today. I just forgot to send on Discord. <laughs> so this, this is my 11th YouTube anniversary. Th three days early. It's technically Monday, but I didn't want to stream on Monday because it's Monday. Um, so, my first YouTube channel ever was Tap Tap the Magnificent. And if you watch my ancient, super old, extra cringe videos um, from, yes, about 11 years ago, um, you can hear me introduce myself as Tap Tap the Magnificent, which used to be the channel's name. I changed it to Tap Tap just because I figured it was too long. It was a little bit too, like, haha, I'm the best kind of guy thing. I was like, eh. And I ended up with Sir Tap Tap just because it's, it's short. It wasn't taken anywhere. And, uh, yeah. By the way, quick chat survey. Hey, peek me, Mason, and Fours in the chat. Quick little chat survey. Should I leave on the, um, I know you can do this somehow. Um, there's a th thing where you can choose if you have the uh, CRT lines and stuff. Should we have that enabled or not? <laughs> you are indeed magnificent, though. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I just wanted a shorter name and the haha, -ha, I'm epic bro kind of thing. It wasn't really my style. I actually, I actually hate honorifics and I kind of regret going with Sir Tap Tap, but I needed something. I just needed something short and I really like the cadence. Sir Tap Tap, three syllables, three letters each. Really short, really punchy, pretty memorable in my opinion. So uh, yeah. I always, as a kid, I was always baffled by the, the donkey icon. I was like, why can't you go back to the donkey icon? It's just, it's the starting point of your journey, I guess. What, Parker? You're, you're noisy today. Yes. Yes, you are. So, Donkey Kong Country was one of my first games, along with Yoshi's Island. I think I got an SNES when I was like, six? Meh. Yes. So um, it was fairly late in the uh, SNES's life cycle, but um, you know that's when a lot of us got games. It was a little bit late, um, so I got this game and I got Yoshi's Island, and as you may <laughs> expect, that kind of ruined games without save features for me, right? Like back then, ugh, it feels weird to even be talking about this now. I don't even remember how you get that one. Um, but yes, most games didn't even have save features at a, at a time. And like, when I got my Genesis, I was like, why can't you save Sonic the Hedgehog? Why, why, why do I have to play it all in one sitting? I don't have time for that. I'm not that good and I can't, I can't sit down for like six hours and play a video game. I'm six, you know? I was always like, huh. So I, I was never a big fan of that aspect. I liked uh, Sonic. Sonic 3 was my favorite Sonic game just because I could actually beat that game because I could actually save. That was very important to me. Um, this game, very hard, especially when you're a tiny kid. I have done absolutely zero practicing. It's actually been actual years since I played this last. But, um, so just to pre-excuse my performance right there, um, that's, that's probably why if I screw up, up something obvious, I will not, hang on. I remember there being a secret around here somewhere. I, I'll miss some secrets. Yeah, it's right here. I'll miss some secrets, I'm sure. I'm not going for 110%. That's silly. Alright, we're going for on guard. There we go. I bet why you can't save Sonic the Hedgehog has been asked of Sega many times. Yeah, it was... The Genesis was pretty late for that, honestly. I think... Pretty much all SNES games were saving is like relevant. Well, no, not necessarily because Sonic, uh, not Sonic, Mega Man 7 has a password system. And I remember being like, what the hell is this? I 
I, I think that was my only game with the password system. I'm like, why is it like this? This is stupid. I had to write all this crap down. I had a couple Game Boy games like that too, and I hated it. Um, the, the, those were so unfun. Also, love this rain ambience. This um, this whole game in general. Just it looks great. It's um, it did kind of ruin me on like I was like, well, why does Mario World look so poopy? Like this game looked great. Yoshi's Island looked great, and then you go play in Mario World. And Mario World is a great game, but you play Mario World after this, especially oh, especially when you're a little kid and you don't really appreciate pixel art stuff. It's like, huh? Yeah. Oh, come on. I had a heck of a time with this game as a kid. Um, obviously, Yoshi's Island, until you get to the extra stages, is a lot easier. Um, Yoshi's Island was probably my first video game that I ever beat. Enter the hex password, little child. Yes, classic stuff. Let me let me show you for anybody that, that didn't grow up on this crap. Mega Man 7 password screen. Oh, it was a nightmare. So this is oh wow, it's even even the remake has it. This is what it looked like. You had to put in the numbers and like you had to write down this, you know, grid of numbers. You had to me remember Mega Man, Roll, Dr. Light, and it's, ah, uh, nah, nah, m miss me with that. I'll never have nostalgia for that crap, never. Not once, not never, <laughs> no way. By the way, I always thought it was kind of dumb how bad Donkey is in this game. I know it's sacrilegious and stuff, but Donkey Kong is the worst character in his own series. Um... I would say even compared to Kitty Kong, Kitty Kong, there's a lot more characters that he's he does things. Um, Diddy Kong is so much better than Donkey in this game. It's ridiculous. Um, there's a couple enemies that you need Donkey for. That's really it. And if you watch speedruns of this game, uh, basically they constantly kill Donkey Kong because he's that slow. Yeah, you're supposed to land on that from a great height, which maybe I get up there. Ugh. So I did play a lot more Donkey Kong 2, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. I, um, my brain still is like, hey, just throw the Kong up in the air and get on the tree. But no, you can't do that. Also, that effect right there, that was magical on the SNES. I mean, it still looks pretty damn good. But th that pallet cycling, oh, that is, that is really cool stuff. This game, pretty obviously for its time, did a lot of pretty cool technical stuff. Who told you I was here? Was it that obnoxious Funky Kong? Find the rope and ropey rampage between a rock and a hard place. So he's your hint person, and he's not very good at giving hints. Espresso can't jump on baddies. I guess his legs are too thin. I love the little attempts at explanations. By the way, I always wondered why the map had Cheerios on it. Why are there Cheerios? They're footprints. But I mean, look at it. They, they look like Cheerios. It took me years to realize those are supposed to be footprints. I was like, huh. Why do the Cheerios, why do you walk on Cheerios? Also, dang, keep in mind. Um, Super Mario World d d deservedly gives a lot, gets a lot of love, but I gotta say, what the hell? If you search Super Mario World, you get like not Super Mario World stuff. You get like ROM hacks and stuff. I just want the regular game. Come on, Google. Super Mario World did not look impressive. It looks like an NES game put on the SNES in a lot of ways. And a lot of the graphic stuff actually is kind of like there's just enough colors for S and for NES on on enemies and stuff like and Bowser looks goddamn terrible in that game. Bowser looks awful in Super Mario World. Um, I really gotta say. Oh, I know full well Super Mario World has a lot of ROM hacks. I um, my earliest like viewership that I got was because I did Super Mario World ROM hacks. And I would do that just because if you played a ROM hack, the ROM hacker 
would watch your video and so that was one guaranteed view <laughs> so that's you know at, at that time for me that was like the Im important thing I haven't played Mario Rom, Rom Hacks in quite a while in fact the last time I played one was for a previous anniversary video I played um, Vaporwave Super Mario World or something um, which um, looks pretty damn good But yeah, when you uh, when you're starting on YouTube, you gotta have somebody's gotta watch your videos, right? So yeah, that was pretty valid for me to just be like, all right, one person that watches my video, maybe even two, maybe somebody else, because there would be forums. Uh, I forget what the hell it was even called, like Super Mario World Central, and there was like a, a different ROM hack site that we posted on, because some like Super Mario World Central had you know standards and annoying stuff like that. So I think. God, was it Goron Guy 50? Somebody, somebody that I used to follow and haven't watched in years, made their own Super Mario World ROM hack thing where people could like, you could just post anything. You could post work in progresses and stuff. It was a bit more chill in Super Mario World Central, and so I would play those hacks to get in on stuff early, and so, you know the people in the threads would watch them. The time of sub for some, yes, that used to be a thing. Um, don't do that. You will, you'll get some. <laughs> If you get noticed, you will lose your subs, and you will probably lose your channel, but yes. That was the thing back then, and it wasn't ever, frankly, worth it. Oh god, amazing music here, by the way. This game, this game was very formative for me. Just the aesthetics, the music, obviously absolutely amazing soundtrack. Um, but yeah, sub for sub. The thing with sub for sub is subs that don't watch your videos don't really matter. Uh-oh. Bad ideas. Um, I forgot about that guy. Um, what was I trying to say? <laughs> I love the <laughs> I love the arrows showing you where to do things in this game. Um, God, but yeah, sub for sub was always BS because uh, maybe early on. I'm stupid. I thought you could. I thought you could unguard that guy. Get get back here. Um, at least since there's been an algorithm. Um, subs that don't watch your videos don't actually really help. In fact, like 90% of my views on my channel come from not subs. So, <laughs> the sub count is honestly very meaningless. Oh, god damn it. At least they don't instantly go away. Oh, here he is. I think I'm thinking of, again, Donkey Kong Country 2. I love this game, Donkey Kong Country 2 is a, a fair bit more enjoyable. <laughs> There's a lot of little things that make it feel a lot better. Like, Unguard will automatically attack certain enemies, and you can charge up Unguard's attack, and it's very nice. Doesn't mean you're reaching new people. I guess so. I just wish YouTube would reach the people that already subbed to me, because... Oh, there he go. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot about that! This is a secret! And that... I honestly think that shark is placed there, so you find that secret because Unguard will um, go back and forth. Can you not fight those? I mean, Unguard is a lot more powerful in, uh, in Donkey Kong 2. Country 2. By the way, I was like, this was my original Donkey Kong game. Obviously, I never had an NES. Well, I got an NES when I was like 20. Um, an abandoned NES, in fact. Um, so I was never about regular Donkey Kong. When I played the original Donkey Kong, um, it was a, it was part of that Animal Crossing thing where you could play NES games. I was like, what is this garbage? What is this crap? <laughs> I know some people love that game, love that kind of arcade style. I do not. I have no nostalgia for it. I have no interest in it. Whoa, dudes, my name's Funky Kong. My bodacious jumbo barrel can launch at any point in the island. Most unfortunately, I can only send you to one place you've already been to. Oh my god. Which is a complete and total bummer, let me tell you. Whoa, dudes. Oh, no, it's just... Yeah. We can't do anything there. Does... Does, does he... Is he still a surf bro? In the new game? Does he still have, like, 90s quotes? By the way, the secrets in this game are complete BS. That's why we're not doing 100%. Um, there's so much crap that's just like the thing I just did there. Like, randomly go behind the area you start at. 
or um, jump, literally jump in a death pit and you get boosted and it's so dumb. And I don't know all of the death pit holes that you need to go into. Um, there's a pretty infamous one coming up here. Or is it in this map where you have to jump in the hole? Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh god. No, there's an important one that I'm missing. Oh shoot. It's probably too late now. I was too busy explaining. Oh god, where is it? You're supposed to get up to the top here. Oh frick. You're supposed to get jump across the top and you get a big one. Whatever, we got three lives, that's plenty. BS secrets in an SNES game, yeah. It, one thing that's very interesting that very rarely discussed in terms of video game history and stuff. Is it this? <laughs> no, that's not it. Um, but there's a secret that's basically just like what I tried to do there. Um, where you just fall in a hole. I thought it was there. But, whatever. I, like I said, <laughs> that's why we're not doing that. That's why we're not doing those secrets, because they're dumb. Also, I'm amazed that respawns. Not like you can really do anything but farm lives on it. Which, rest in peace to farming lives. I don't really miss that. Yeah, SNES games. Um, but, but back to what I was saying. Oh crap, where's the secret in this one? I think it's down left. Um, games in terms of like usability and stuff have gotten a lot better. Like things have been a lot more reasonable in terms of like Secrets aren't so BS, and, um, there we are. Two. Alright, there's a bunch of different secrets in this one. Yeah, save points beat limited lives so, so bad. Um, though, the, of course, in SNES games, you, you often had both, and you do in this game. And I always thought that was a bit stupid, because I would get stuck and, like, on a really hard level, especially in, um... What's it called? The chemical plant place? I would get stuck on that, and I would be like, oh man, this is so hard. Probably not gonna be an issue here. And I mean, we have save states now anyway. If you get about 300, if you get three lives in one of these, that's about your goal. I forget what the last one is. Uh, I think it's down here. But yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there's a lot of really bad arcade convention in NES and SNES games. I'm sure a lot of people still have, like, nostalgia for that kind of crap, but, like, for me, it's like, no. No, I, I don't... I want secrets that make sense. I want there to be a way to find out where you're missing things. And, um... <laughs> uh, this used to be so hard as a kid. It is piss easy, but when you're a tiny babu and you have like no functional ability to press buttons, these are super hard. Like I, I I'm sure I died like five times to that as a kid. Now we get the sexy monkey. Oh, this was somebody's fetish, I guarantee. Absolutely guarantee. We're just gonna save. And not think about that too much. 11%? Yeah, again, not getting 110%, sorry. I I've never done that. I 110%, I, I did complete the other games. Um, because there was a reason to do so. Epic hardest boss, by the way. By the way, if you want to really defeat him, the way to really defeat him, you got to get him right in the right spot so the, um, the, the banana lands on him. Ah. That's- that's how you know you really beat him when the banana crotches his skull. That- that's the good stuff. So this is- this is where the, where the game gets kind of BS. And they- the developers knew. Rare knew. Freaking rest in peace Rare, by the way. I know they're technically still around, but not really. Um... But yeah, they, um... They knew this- this- the difficulty went way up. So there's some really ridiculous secrets in this where you just, you say no and you go to the left and you just win the level. And that was actually one of the first video game secrets I ever found out on my own. Well, I guess it probably was the first one. 
I love how this thing, if you don't have, um, what's the frog's name again? Winky? If you don't have Winky, you just can't get the last ones up there. It just taunts you. Yeah, poor rare. I know they still made, um, I think you can't KO that one, can you? It's so generous with lives in the early part, too. Um, oh no, this is the one I was thinking of. I think there is a big Rambi icon, but, um, I felt like such an MLG programmer for discovering this. I never questioned whether Ostrich could fly. Kind of fly. Uh, I, to, to really maximize that, you should, like, get a bunch and then, like, time it, but I always just go straight to it. Because that's just what I'm used to from being a kid. Plus, I, I don't think lives are going to be a big problem for us. Like, absolute worst case, obviously, I'm playing on Switch. I can use the uh, save states thing. Shouldn't need to, though. Because I'm a pro gamer, of course. Man, what was the last really good rare game, do you think? Um... The, the funny thing is, Conker's Fur Bad Fur Day comes to mind, and then I'm like, wait a minute, that's not really a good game, is it? It's a very memorable game, but would you call Conker's Bad Fur Day good? Uh, honestly, honestly asking, um, I guess I'm a little biased, because I... <laughs> Let me be absolutely brutally honest. Um, as a kid, I, I was like, I didn't, I don't think video games could be bad. I just thought I was bad at them. Um, and then I played Donkey Kong Country 64, and I realized video games could be bad. I know some people love that game. I know that's perhaps slightly edgy to say, but I could not stand that game. I <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like this, and it was not. And oof. I think I think it was okay. All right, this is the one we gotta do this. <laughs> I did that. I I was so frustrated. I hated this level. And I just did that as a kid, and I was like, oh my god. And after doing that, I tried that at every level. Hey, Parker. No, we're, we're, we're gonna do it legit, though. We're gonna do it legit, don't worry. That's right. We're gonna suffer, Parker. I don't think it's quite that bad if you kind of know what you're doing. But again, imagine being literally six. This is your first game, Parker. This is your first game. Yeah. The yeah, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, I... I played a little bit of it on emulator, and I was like... I can see the appeal of the humor. It was definitely... It was at that point in gaming history... Why did I go for the bananas? It was at that point in the gaming history where that was, like, so groundbreaking. Just to be generally edgy in a video game. Um, but for me, it was never that funny. And gameplay-wise, I, I just didn't enjoy that kind of stuff. But that kind of open-world-ish? It's not even open-world, but that kind of collect-a-thon-y thing. Well, it's not even really a collect a -thon. I'm more- I'm mostly thinking of um, Donkey Kong Country 64, but... N64 collect -a thons didn't do much for me. It was really- um, it had to be- it had to be Spyro for me. I was all about Spyro. Missing that barrel as a kid? was the- that felt like the worst thing ever. Like, Hitler put that jump in as a kid. I- I knew that he personally developed this video game and put that in there to personally spite me. Because that was so mean. Watching that barrel spin by... That's- that's mean. See, this is really not that bad. There are much harder levels er later on. But I have, um... I have played this level several times, of course. I'm noticing a lot of left-right channel stuff in this soundtrack that I never noticed before. Because I'm using headphones, of course. Also, those kind of jumps when you're stupid, tiny baby. I took that hit on purpose, by the way, so that Donkey Diddy Kong could win a level. Oh. No, we already completed the level, so it doesn't count. Shoot. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. I noticed that whoever beat the level got the um, credit on the map. And I didn't like D Donkey Kong, so I always tried to get him killed at the end of the level so that Diddy Kong could take it. 
And I did that in DKC3 as well for um, because of Kitty Kong. I didn't mind it so much in 2 because I like both of the characters, but um, I did not like Kitty Kong. Cog. I felt a little bad missing that um, thing. Can I? No. Oh, oops. I forgot we don't have a second Kong. Also, what's the deal? Why, why weren't there multicolored um, buzz boys in the second game? Why was that only a thing in one? I, always, I thought that was cool. I was uh, like confused because I, I thought they would be different and they're kind of not. But I like palette swaps. I, I think palette swaps get a bad rap. I mean, obviously, it's, you know, it's quote unquote lazy, right? But, shit, not even worth it. Um, Oh, you can see the little JPEG cutouts on his hat there. It probably wasn't quite as noticeable on a CRT. Thanks. Thanks, game. Cool. Cool, thanks. Also, the darkness. I'd never played a video game. Well, you know, it was one of my first video games anyway. Uh, I think my actual first video game ever was Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in a, uh, a daycare kind of thing. They had, like, an arcade cabinet with Sonic... And that was a different game, but I don't think I ever played it because I really liked Sonic, so I played it. I, I never really got to play on that machine. I only, like, touched it a couple times. But, um, I knew I wanted video games, and I so I was like, oh my god. Oh, that was my banana count. I thought there was, like, an item at the top right. Hey, Spit. Where are we going? So, what... What's I talking about? <laughs> don't you hate that when you're just like, you, you, I don't even know. But I love crystal caves and shit. I guess, no, Donkey Kong Country 2 more had the crystal caves. Oh, right. He can just stomp on us. Um, but a lot of Don Yoshi's Island and um, Donkey Kong Country gave me a lot of my like, all right, this is what good video games should have. They should have crystal caves. They should have waterfalls. Um, there should be rain segments, there should be night levels, there should be ice worlds. Like, those games, like, those solidified to me what good games had to have. Oops. Still work, though. <laughs> the secret levels in Donkey Kong Country 1, by the way, are wild. They're just like, get the bananas. Who cares? There's not, there's not really much to them. And then they just poop you out at the exit. Oh, this lo I was genuinely scared. I- Let me show you another one of these. I was genuinely scared of these things. Cause I mean, look at them! But, oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> this doesn't even dump you- wow. You have to play more of the level than I remember. But yeah, that's another one of those secrets that you just- You just have to nope out of the level. Do I play MOBA games? Uh, not MOBA- oh. Oops, I... All right, let's, let's play it legit. Oh yeah, the flashing lights. Obviously a little bit of flashing lights here, so flashing light warning. Forgot about that. Lots of SNES games did that. Huh? All right, green, green, green is bad, I forgot about that. So these things were freaking scary as a kid. They, they come out of the damn walls, they're invincible. And when you're a stupid little kid and you're playing a video game, you just want to kill everything. It doesn't matter that there's no point. It doesn't matter that you're probably going to die. It doesn't matter how much the game doesn't want you to do that. You're going to try, right? Because you're, you're six years old and you think that's cool. Is that a trap? That's a trap. <laughs> Shit. I forgot about that. I think you're supposed to do a Diddy roll. You can... Uh, let me show you how that works. Um... Forgot about that. You can jump while rolling as Diddy, which is so weird, but I love video game conventions like that. I love stuff like that. Like, look, look at that. It doesn't make sense, but it's so cool. And it doesn't it doesn't need to make sense. It should just be enjoyable and fun. Uh, love stuff like that. And I was never very good at doing that as a kid. I forget if the 
if the uh, instruction manual tells you how to do that. I miss instruction manuals, but instruction manuals are also dumb, and it makes so much more sense for the instructions to actually be inside of the game. So, uh, as much as I still appreciate games that do a full instruction manual, most people don't read them, and the, the instructions should just be in the game. It makes way more sense to do it like that. I'm just gonna say that it's it's because I'm used to the CRT. It's the lag, guys. It's definitely the lag. It's definitely not me not being used to the delay or something. Oh my god. Alright, no. <laughs> no, I just haven't played this game in years and I'm not used to the exact moment you gotta press the button. Why do I even need- I don't even need these bananas. Screw those bananas. i never seen those bananas before in my life. <laughs> DSP tap tap. Don't be mean. It's, the, it's 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 a glitch, guys. It's a bug. Like you pancakes. Y yes. I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure what that means, but I agree. I should I should have just skipped this level, but we're we're gonna do all of the levels. You know what's weird? This game stops letting you skip stuff. Um, it's really just these early levels, mostly. I think there are a few late game skips that I don't even know how to do. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought for sure that would be a death. Um, but it's mostly these early levels that let you skip stuff. I guess they just wanted to stop by to tell me they like my pancakes. I'm gonna guess that was a Helltaker reference and not just like, you know, a word salad. Because we did talk about pancakes in that video. Somebody got like offended that I had- that my country had different type of pancakes, by the way. I thought that was really funny. Because I was explaining in the video that yes, American pancakes are different from European pancakes. And they were like, no! These are pancakes, tap tap. <laughs> okay. You're right, there's only one kind of pancake. Let me tell you, it took me days to get this far. It took me days as a kid. How do you guys make them? Um, European pancakes we call crepes. They're just really thin. Uh, American pancakes, they're basically just thick. Extra thick. That's really all there is. <laughs> oh, I love this like spooky mystery temple. But I was always like, why, why are the Kremlings? The Kremlings are the bad guys invading, right? Or are they like the, the native land people? Are we the assholes? Are we the colonialists? I, I don't know, because there's like ancient Krem people here. Oh shit. <laughs> I, I was really, I was re I swear to God, I was reading the chat. I was completely on autopilot there. I literally had the Europe the pancake combo with some European friends less than a week ago. <laughs> Yeah, American Pancake, this is really the same concept. My only conceit on that issue, I mean, obviously people call things different things, and it's fine, who cares? But European pancakes aren't very pancake to me, because they're not cake, like, cake is thick. Cake is big. Cake is full of calories, so, like, pancakes, to me, those are more like pan waifs. They're pan cookies crepes are, European pancakes are to me, but doesn't matter. America big, yes. Thing must be big to be American thing. By the way, if you suck at this game, just carry a barrel. It helps. It'll help you find secrets. It'll help you defeat enemies. Just ha just barrels are your safety item. Just carry your safety item. Is there a secret? Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Meant to do that. NES games with good backgrounds meant a lot to me. Kirby games, too. Getting Winky through that guy is a nightmare, by the way. Um, yeah, a lot of NES games just had really good backgrounds. Um, Kirby games, in particular, tend to have always amazing backgrounds. The one thing that makes me kind of want a Kirby open-world game is like... And I don't mean Amazing Mirror. 
but imagine like the 3D backgrounds in um in um Star Allies, and imagine just going into those and like exploring. That would be amazing to me. Also, Cranky is basically useless in this game. <laughs> I love that he insults you. I, this guy, this, um, this really cracked me up as a kid. I liked the injection of humor because that was very rare to me. I'm really noticing the JPEG crust on on uh, Diddy though. Look, look at his hat. There's little bits that should have been clipped out of there. <laughs> three lives and three continues. That's all we had. Games never look like this when I was a lad. He just yells at you, by the way. He just he just does this for all. <laughs> we were much better in those days off in those days as well. But you thought this was 64-bit, eh, boy? <laughs> That's a good one, actually. I, I, I There's no way I got that joke as a kid. <laughs> I also like that he physically abuses you. I never really thought much of it as a kid. There's too many baddies around for my liking. I'm off to go lay down. <laughs> Boomer Kong. Playable cr Cranky Kong was genuinely amazing though. I know it was a huge meme that I think people were like really disappointed. Ow, what? Okay, oh. <laughs> That's a classic. That's cl I'm not even mad. Because that, that is this boss. You can't fight this boss and not have that happen at least once. That's that's classic. He has to spit it out first. That's what I'm doing wrong, by the way. Um, he's invincible until he spits. So you gotta do it like that. I also had a friend who could not believe that this game was made with, uh, with SNES sound stuff. The game, the music may not seem like something that's technically impressive, especially on, you know, anything past NES. Um, but the NES, SNES sound chip, um, this game uses a lot of samples and it uses them really well. Can I set down? All right. Um, all right, this level. So this game sounds just extremely good for an SNES game. It's uh, it's quite impressive. It's one of those things where it's like, looking back, it's kind of harder to notice. But a lot of SNES games, especially early on, um, they sounded very sound fonty. They sounded like MIDI. And this game just has a crap load of samples in general. The enemy hit noises and stuff, obviously. I'm not sure I remember that you could do that. I, I thought you had to, um... I thought you needed a barrel to do that. I like. I always liked this minigame. This was a fun one. They're gonna bite your feet! They're gonna bite your little feet! There we go. I like playable K Donkey Kong, um, who's his name? Cranky Kong in um, Tropical Freeze. Tropical Freeze got a bad rap, man. When it came out, people were like, oh man, we're gonna get, what even was, I, I hate Nintendo fans sometimes. Like when there's a N Nintendo new, new Direct, people are like, oh man, they're gonna d announce a new Pokemon game. They're gonna announce a new Smash Bros. And then we get, you know, a, 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 you know, anything but that and like, no. No, I don't want that. I don't want Junkie Kong. I want Smash Bros. And it's, God, it's insufferable. Um, but yeah, I forget what what was desired at that moment in time. But it was not Donkey Kong, and people were people were pissed at Donkey Kong, which is it's so weird to look back at because it was a great game. But yeah, people hated that game. Like Neo Gaff was melting down. Like it was a meme for years that about Neo Gaff just. That was a DSP moment. <laughs> um, it was a meme for years, that playable Donkey Kong. It was great. I think it probably was Smash Bros or something. This was in a fairly large Smash Bros drought, if I recall. E3 reactions. Oh yeah. 
man, I don't even remember. That's the funny thing about people being so worked up and like, oh, we gotta get this game. I don't remember what people were yearning for. I don't remember why people besmirched um, playable Funky Kong. Or playable, it was Cranky Kong at the time. Also, underrated aspect of this game, not only is the music great, it's very chill. It kind of helps calm you down when you're like fall into pits for the 16,000th time and getting mad. It's uh, it's really helpful. They probably wanted Isaac or Bango. Oh, it was probably a Smash Bros character. Let me just say, I, I haven't genuinely enjoyed a Smash Bros game since Melee. Um, I... <laughs> And as somebody that does not enjoy the Nintendo, like, screaming at Nintendo to release new Smash Bros. thing, I kind of hate that we have DLC now. <laughs> because it used to be every five years or so, the Nintendo thing was, Oh, Smash Bros. where? <laughs> and now, it's every single time. Because there's always going to be more DLC characters. So now every single Direct, they're like, Where's, where's Smash Bro? Where's, where's Goku? Where's Goku? Where's Gogeta? I need Super Saiyan 35 Gogeta or no no games Nintendo. Fuck Metroid. Who even ever played Metroid? Fuck Mario. Donkey Kong, no. We need Super Gogeta in Donkey Kong now. I mean Smash Bros. <laughs> Minecraft Steve? That is that ironic though or like that can't be real, right? Like I I loved like, you know, Minecraft and stuff when it was new, but Minecraft Steve is like some of the worst game design or character design ever. I, I, I never liked the, um, the visual design. I always thought it, the visual design of Minecraft, like as a world, not the characters works great, but um, I don't like how the characters look. It's real. Ugh. I, I guess we do have the epic Minecraft wholesome 400 or no a wholesome 100. Um, meme, so I guess, I guess people do probably want Steve. But what about Alex? See, that, that was a genuine hint. That made sense. Shit. Um, that one did kind of make sense, that hint there, but there, um, we already missed it, but there's one where you just literally jump in a hole. A death hole. And, um, I think I, I already missed that secret. Ow. I jumped into where I thought it was, but I think I jumped to, oops. I think I jumped too far or something. The the removed characters from Inf Devs actually had an interesting art style. I, I would have liked that. Personally, um, I like the fake Minecraft games that have like like um Dragon Quest builders. I think it looks just fine to have high quality models for the characters and blocks for the world. I think it looks fine. Shit. <laughs> well one thing that always I, I kind of appreciate it about this game. The, the game over is not long, or the, you know, you died thing. It doesn't rub it in your face. It just fade to black, immediate retry. Because you die a lot in this game. Um, I, I, I always kind of like, never liked it in um, Mario games. It kind of rubbed it in. And this is just real fast retry. And honestly, just the speed, it being fast to retry, because you're going to die a lot, right? Uh, th that's pretty valuable. I made the same mistake twice. Uh. You know what's funny? I've seen um, Minecraft. We might do a Minecraft stream someday, by the way. Um, I keep wondering when. And I don't know when would be like a valid excuse. But uh, so sometime maybe. Maybe. Stop failing at this exact same point. Single player? Yeah, definitely single player. Um, I don't even know what server I would go on to. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, the, I last genuinely played Minecraft to like really try and do stuff. Oh shit. 
Um, oh no, we didn't get the N anyway. Um, I think you're supposed to have Winky. I forget how you get Winky in this level. It doesn't matter. By the way, pro, pro gamer strat, we haven't unlocked the um, save point thing yet. It feels weird to even bother talking about this. But you go back to a previous world and you can save. Wow, right? <laughs> but this, when you're a dumb little kid and you're playing this game, that is an absolute lifesaver. Because there's some points where you get the, um, you get the plane first before the save. And that, uh, that, that definitely saved me a lot of time. The last time I played Minecraft, I keep interrupting myself. The last time I genuinely played Minecraft was um, a bit after the Nether update. Remember when um, Hatsune Miku, creator of Minecraft, um, was going to make torches last a limited amount of time? And everyone told her that it was the worst idea ever. And they kept insisting they were going to do it, but they never did, as far as I'm aware. They never did that, right? That just seemed so dumb. Because, like, you put torches everywhere in Minecraft. And you have to. Yeah, that was... I get... Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Oh, we missed the K already? Wow. Yeah, I was pretty sure they'd never done that. But yeah, I, I just stopped playing before all of the enchantments, the, like, desert temples... Uh, I am glad there's, like, underwater critters now. It's, if you know me, you probably know that I love underwater critters, so that's probably one of the first things I'm going to check out. And we're probably not going to do Monded or anything, at least not for a first stream. I just want to see what's new in crap and just relax with it. I don't really want to do anything too fancy. And also, if you are a Minecraft lover, I do have a crap load of Minecraft videos on this channel, actually. They're just really old from back when Minecraft was was very new. Um, from the alpha, I think. I think I think it officially went into beta instead of alpha or something right around when I stopped playing. I finally got another update. That's cool. Fuck ghasts, though. Not worth it. I always thought that another was cool as hell, though. I, I tried to make, like, a thing. I didn't even know I had Diddy. I guess that I guess that one-up would have been worth it. Except had I died there. I think I was supposed to break a thing. But whatever. You feel oddly powerful when you're, like, jumping off the screen in this game. Like, you feel when you next land, you're gonna just atomize whatever's under you. In the speedrun, I think there's some kind of like wrong warp or something that gets you like right here, or you start right here, I forget which. But there's something important here. Can I get up here? There we go. You do kind of get used to this game's thought process though. A lot of the BS hidden crap, like what I just found, you start to realize, okay, which honestly, uh, hiding stuff at the behind of the start, that's very standard video game hiding stuff. But when you're six years old, and this is literally your first video game, it's pretty esoteric. And also, does this game even tell you when you've f found all of the hidden bonus stuff in a level? It shows you if you've done the Kong thing, I think, with the exclamation point. But I don't like when stuff doesn't tell you when you've finished a thing or not. Like, I want to clear out areas place by place. I don't need to specifically see... Um, I don't think I was supposed to let him pass me. Whatever. Secret. I'm glad we got new biomes and crafting recipes. Yeah, I really want to see the mushroom biome. I hear it's insanely rare, but I really want to see it. So I don't know if there's any, like, world gen parameters oh, that you can set to do that. By the way, um, Donkey Kong's head as a balloon is terrifying, and I don't like looking at it. It looks like, like a skin envelope filled with like mysterious gases, and I don't like it. The little thing. I can't show it to you, but n next time th the, the, the lives counter comes down, look at it. It's, it's, it's sickening. Oh god. I, for <laughs> I forgot he does that. That's, that's the whole gimmick of this level, and I forgot about it. Which, by the way... 
I love, I think by me getting this game and Yoshi's Island in a row, um, I super love the idea of platformers where every level has a unique thing. I think that's really integral to having a platformer, especially one like this, that actually feels really good. Gimmick is now kind of a bad word post the Wii generation and everything, but you know, you just need something to make every level stand out. And again, the, the, the going to the night to night thing looks really cool. Oh, there's <laughs> not any ground down there. Should be seeds for a close spawn. I might go ahead and just do that then. But yeah, Minecraft stream may be soonish. I don't know. It'll probably just be a chill, random one-off thing. Unless people, like, insanely crazy super want more Minecraft. I imagine we probably won't do a ton. I feel like I've already missed out on the Terraria craze. I kind of wanted to check out Terraria again, but it wasn't a good time for me when the update came out. And now I feel like nobody will care. I could be wrong with that, but... By the way, there's an absolutely hilarious. Let me let me see if I can find. Let me see if this is still up. Um, crap, what are those called? Donkey Kong, Bar barrel throw enemy. I think it's like Crazy Kong. Crazy Kong. No, no, that's not it. Um, hold on, this will be worth it. Trust me. Um. Enemies. Great music to, to, to enjoy while I dick around, though. Um, does anyone remember what the hell these things are called? Kong Fu. No. Concrete. No. Shoot, what are these what are these idiots called? Mankey Kong. Mankey Kong. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, I think they edited it out. <laughs> the, the, I'm, I'm, I'm over here on the uh, Donkey Kong wiki. There used to be this like background story of how Mankey Kongs were traitors to the Donkey Kong family, and like, <laughs> it was this completely made up garbage, like fan fiction nonsense, but it really cracked me up, but um, it was completely untrue, and <laughs> has apparently been removed from the wiki, but um, whoever added that in there, it, 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 it lasted for like, I remember reading that for like years, like it was still there when I would go back. It should be in the edit history, oh yeah, probably, let me, let me see if I can find it real. Pfft, that's a good in-between sprite. Let me find the edit history. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> the, hold, hold on. Um, shit. How do I get this on screen? Can I just like... Um, let me add a browser source, I guess. This, is, this will be worth it, trust me. <laughs> I'm not, how do I scroll? Shit. Um. <laughs> okay, this'll work, this'll work. What? No, get rid of that. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> how, how do I stream, chat? Does anyone know how to stream? Cause I obviously don't. Transform, reset, put you under chat. Where is it? <laughs> Again, let me repeat, there was no great ape war. Oh my God. We have to see this one. We have to see this. Yes, this is it, this is it. 
Mankey Kongs are enemies in Donkey Kong Country. They are the only Kongs in Donkey Kong Countries that are an enemy. In fact, these orangutans are described as Kong reject orangutans, implying they've been exiled from the Don Kong family. This is due to their <laughs> betrayal of the Primate Alliance during the Grape Eight War. Let me zoom in for you. Look at, uh, re read deep, my children, read deep. Mankey Kong has presumably migrated to Vine Valley, with many debuting in the Rangatang Gang. The species of ape is very dangerous, but it can be defeated with a jump from Diddy. <laughs> the name Mankey Kong comes from the name Mangy and Skanky, and the pun on the word monkey. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it didn't come from the word Skanky. They may be related to Minky. So this is <laughs> this is obviously an 11 year old wrote that, but thank you. Thank you for enlightening me because, oh my God, I'm so glad. <laughs> well, let me see. So that was edited out in 2018. And yeah, that was in there. Yeah, that was in there for a while. I loved that. That was, that should be left there for posterity. I love it. That, that was, that was good. I love stupid edits. I love stupid garbage edits like that. I know they should be removed and everything from Wiggies, but shit cracks me up, man. Um, there's also one of the weirder things on on Wiggies, probably related to also eleven year olds, is um, if you go to the Subnautica Wiki, um, people role play as the fish in in the chat comments in the in the article comments. <laughs> and, and you can even see people like warning do not role play as the fish and it's just funny and you'll get like comments from a peeper and he's like oh B bone shark coon is my friend it's 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 high quality stuff unsupervised children ruin wiki oh, i think there was probably a secret in there oh well I have no idea how I survived that. Oh, I was just about to get to the good part. Ayo, hey, bloop bloop. Good comment. Insult me, Cranky. Four shades of gray and a two by two character block. That's all we had. <laughs> Can't play this game. The colors are all too rich for my poor old, poor old eyes. Oh, even the bananas have more frames and colors than I had in the entire game. Look, look at this. As I rock my beard swings. Waste of frames in my opinion. <laughs> that was when we had real gameplay, that was. Thank you, Cranky Kong. He could be a YouTuber. This was developed with the latest state-of-the-art 3D worky thingies, wasn't it? Yes. And then he gives you a real hint, briefly. It's not really a useful hint, but... Pounds a keg off a wall and jump on his rolls back. You can ride it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... I don't remember that being very useful, but you can do that. <laughs> I can sit here and rock all day. Especially if you two leave me alone. Cranky's a speedrunner who stopped 20 years ago. He really is. By the way, it's canon, apparently, that he is. The Donkey Kong you fight in Donkey Kong, the, the arcade game, that's Cranky. And Donkey Kong Jr. is his son. So Donkey Kong is the son of Donkey Kong Jr. There's, there's triple Donkey Kongs. And I guess he changed his name because he he's that Cranky that he had to change his name. Like he wasn't born Cranky. He became Cranky in every sense of the word, which is really just the one, but yeah. I will say, environments look great in this, um, but Donkey Kong 2, um, there's a lot more variety in the visual backgrounds, as opposed to the auditory backgrounds, of course. Which, if you think about it, music, what is music if not an auditory background? Ah. 
Great music, though. I don't know if we're going to beat the whole game today, by the way. We may finish this up next week or something. Um... We're going into a good clip right now, but I, I think the game is like four hours if you're decent. And I don't know if I want to do a four hour stream tonight. By the way, streams, obviously we started early this time. Um, I did a little poll, and people seem to prefer 4 a.m. my time, or 4 p.m. It's a little earlier for the um, Euro friends. It's a little, obviously earlier for me. It's earlier for everyone, obviously, but... Um, I do kind of like that it's earlier in the day for me because this way I, um, when I know I'm going to do a stream, I kind of get in this mode like, where like, okay, it's two hours to stream and I don't want to, I don't want to do anything. So I kind of like to just get that out of the way and just not have that feeling of, oh my gosh, I got to stream. Like, I like streaming, but I don't know. I, uh, the, just the scheduling makes it feel weird for some reason. barf your infected pearls are literally clam infections by the way they like they have um the the pearl is the oh God, the mother of pearl is like their like protective coating on their um shell but they get like crap and like sand I hate sand and they get it in their um stuff so it's basically a, a clam pimple they're beautiful pimples but they're still Basically, clam pimples. Cranky Kong should totally be like a, a grumpy YouTuber that like hates modern video games and thinks like Mario 1 looks the best ever and thinks like Mario 3 has too many colors. Hungry boys. Also, it's kind of funny that the sharks, the bigger sharks, are not in any way ow, more dangerous than the small ones. They're, they're just the same thing. They're not even much bigger. <laughs> uh, we're doing good tonight. He's a Twitch streamer who, who only plays on real hardware and uses a shitty webcam. Yes. He, same thing. The funny thing is I've, I've like never watched DSP. I would do like a DSP meme when I die, but I don't, I don't know any DSP memes. I only know Joel and Vinny memes. A few Destiny memes, but that's about it. Not, none of which are really relevant here. Man, just give me, give me Unguard, honestly. I'm, I'm rushing it, it's my fault, but still. Froge. Give me the Froge! Gamer moment. Oof. All right, these pricks. Ugh. I hate the back the backwards one. I almost said back wise. Fuck. Laugh like a seal sarcastic when you die. I said nothing I could do, dude. This is bullshit. <laughs> DSP is forever enshrined in me, and that d the the comic of somebody um, press any key and they press the power key. And then it's DSP's face edited onto it. It goes, wow. That's, that's the only thing I know. That and that everything is a glitch or technical difficulties. This is a hard game, though. Um, this, if you're a tiny baboo, like I said, it, it took me a couple of days at least to, to like clear every level. Plus, I mean, you know, this sitting down for an hour and playing video games that was a rare luxury when you're tiny baboo you're not supposed to have screen time remember screen time ugh yeah, we weren't allowed on screens for too much 
then I get a job and I'm on screens 100% of the time. He plays Street Fighter like a button masher and then calls everyone mildly good a button masher. <laughs> oh, big boy! I always like the zingers. They're jerks, but I don't know. I guess I just have an affinity to big invincible things with spikes. That's just, that's just my type, I guess. I always thought it was kind of funny how incredibly much easier the um, bosses are in this game than the stages. I guess a lot of games are like that, but aside from K. Rule, I say as I die, aside from K. Rule, pretty much none of the bosses, even as a kid, gave me much trouble. I mean, I could die like once or twice, but um, really wasn't a constant death kind of thing. <clears throat> That brief early stream was a bad idea today, by the way. My, my voice is going to be wrecked for this. I'm probably not going to be able to do too many more videos um, this weekend. I've been doing better allergy-wise. I've been, um, I think, keeping Parker less in my bedroom and like keeping um, washing my pillowcases every week has been helping because, like. You're in the same position for nine hours, or eight or so hours, right? So, it really helps to get all the allergens out of your bedroom that you can. I haven't been coughing as much and stuff. I, I, I gotta say, I love world maps like this. We can kind of see maybe where you could go in the future. You can see there's like a spooky thing in the Kong forehead. There's a, there's a boat out there for some reason. Oh my god, I've... When I got to Gorilla Glacier, I was like, holy crap, I'm I'm really getting far in this video game. And now I just got here in just slightly over an hour. And we've spent more than five minutes just l laughing at Mankey Kong, so I'm gonna say in an hour. Also, I, I've said this so many times, but oh my god, my new internet, zero dropped frames. That's just how it should be, right? But it feels so good. I <laughs> took me years to get to this point, to just have internet, and I pay for it, and it's fine. And it's so strange in a wonderful way. Yeah, I've, I've had no complaints. I mean, technically, I get slightly less than advertised. They advertise a gigabit. God damn it. And it's like, it's like gigabit class. You know, like how TVs are like 70 inch class and it's like, you know, five inches away. Um, it's like, I get like 800, but it's plenty good enough. And really my problem was I was dropping below five megabits, even when I paid for like 50. So this, I pretty consistently get like well over 600 up and down, and that's really plenty. I can't download Doom 2016 in like one second. It takes like a few minutes, but that's fine. I, I, I really don't need it that fast. It would be nice. Shit. <laughs> I almost saved it. Who put these signs here, by the way? There's a big sign that says caves. You're not supposed to think about things like that, but I, I think many things. I think big thoughts. Oop. Oh! <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. Like, I thought I was gonna get a little airtime from bouncing off the uh, bird, but I kind of didn't. Also, I swear the snow effect looks a l looked a lot less like crap on a real CRT. I need to get a real CRT. Yeah, boy. I think Big Thoughts dies. <laughs> yes. Right here, this is what it was. Okay, so hold up. I'm gonna get 150, right? I'm gonna do one quick thing. All right. Now I'm gonna get the doubler. I'm gonna do this right this time. Hopefully I have enough time for this. 
Okay, so you gotta get on top of that, and then you do this. I'm explaining 25-year-old video games to you, but, um, fuck. Nah, I took too long. I should've just gone for like 100 or so. I would usually just go straight to it, but it doesn't work because it's a multiplier. There we go. I thought you could do that. Oh. Oh. Chills. All right. <laughs> this again. Yeah, this, I was talking earlier about those barrel things being tricky as a kid. This one is pretty genuinely pretty hard. In later games, they tend to chain a, a bit less barrels like this. Ah, oh, shit. I don't need that. The weird thing is you, your reaction you want to press it just before, but when you press the button, it kind of like locks it in. So you have to wait for it to be in the position, not just before it. Ow. Shit. I wonder how many times I died to this as a kid. I'm wondering if I'm doing better or worse. I have to be doing better, but... I remember this being kind of where the game got real. I mean... All things considered, the second world feels like a crazy high increase in difficulty, but it's really just stop and go station. And uh, the minecart level. What level is this? Snow Barrel Blast. I definitely recall dying here. What sucks is sometimes those bonus barrels um, give you a good skip in the level, and this one just doesn't. Nah. Not without Diddy. Shit. Shit! Yeah, if it's at that angle, you just die. I hate that. You you can't correct it at that point. You feel like it should be able to, or that it should shoot you farther than it does, but it doesn't. Okay. Oop! God damn it. You can salvage that one, but it's a little tricky. Is there any? No. I wonder if there's like a warp barrel in this one or something. It almost worked. No, we actually did. That's how we got to the bonus barrel before. We did salvage that before. Fuck. Still worked. <sighs> Meant to do that. The music doesn't really help in this one. Aw, oh, son of a bitch! Oh, that was like the last two barrels, too. Ah. Oh. 
I wonder if that lets me skip anything. Let me try that. Actually, let me get Diddy first, or Donkey. Whoever I'm missing. Such a meaty tooth sound, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> no, that doesn't help you skip anything at all. Okay. I don't even remember this level being quite this nuts. Doesn't even matter. Ooh! I'm not complaining. I think I probably found that as a kid, honestly. Alright, let's never play that again. Smeekrit, yes. Oh, this level, this, this Donkey Kong did have um, these levels, okay. Yeah, crystal caves. Small peepee, -pee, go to big peepee. -pee. That's one thing I never liked about Donkey Kong, by the way. He, um, oh god damn it. Um, um, you gotta like throw barrels to break the walls. I always preferred to use them as Diddy. And there's no reason for him to hold them up like that. I guess he's like showing his strength, but it just makes him less enjoyable to play as. Like I said before, I really like gimmicks like these. These ropes that slip you up and these ones kind of pull you down. Just add some uniqueness to each uh, area. Oh. Where do I use this? There we go. There's usually a reason for a barrel. Nintendo! Alright, that was easy. Hello, Parker. One? Just one? After that last level? <laughs> Come on. I thought he moved for a second. I was about to panic. Where, where's, where's he at? D don, don, donkey. Yeah, there you go. All right, that's just a way to get that. Which Donkey Kong game is your favorite, chat? Which, ah. I'm gonna be lame. Shit. I'm gonna be lame and say Donkey Kong Country 2 because it just. It really is that good. DKC3, I think, is a little underrated. This game. I hate to say it, I think it's a little overrated. I've not played any yet. Impossible. Um, DK64, obviously, I didn't like very much. I still need to play Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, I do own it, but. We jiggle controls. Uh, I just haven't wanted to fuck with it yet. Um, plus, I bought it just after Tropical Freeze, and I, I was kind of burnt out. Love Tropical Freeze and everything, but um, the secrets in that game, I didn't like them. A Donkey Kong Country game with weird, annoying-to-get secrets. Who would have thunk it? The secret to this one is just to stop moving, by the way. The slippery floor will screw you up pretty bad otherwise. Yeah, to find all the secret exits and stuff in that game, I, I gave up. But to just play it straight through, just the main game, um, it was a great game. Ow. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, ow. Oh, I guess it did matter. Yeah, that balloon head is cursed. Yeah, it really, really is. Alright, just a minute here. I need to refill my drink. Um... I need like an animated BRB thing. I mean, aside from that, but <laughs> I'll be back in just a sec here.
Oh, you know, I should have asked this earlier. When did you first, huh? Oh, wrong scene. <laughs> it looked right for a second there, but. Um, when did you first join YouTube? And if you uploaded, when was your first upload? Obviously, you know, mine's the, the title of the stream. It was 11 years ago. 11 years ago, July 20, 27th. 2009. It feels like a billion years ago. Every year since 2016 feels like 10, but it also feels like 2016 was like an, a year ago at most. Freaking remember Rebecca Black? I get spam. No shit. I get spam from an account called Rebecca Black, and it's like. And it's, it posts stuff like, sustainable prison city. And then it's like a bunch of pictures, it's like a bunch of images to, I don't even know what. By the way, check out Donkey Kong's boobs the next time he does that victory pose. Like, seriously, just, wh what was that? Oh, you can go, you can, that's an illicit animation. Um. Look, look at that. That's illegal. Um, anyway. Let me get those bananas. Alright, be careful this time. <laughs> uh. yeah, I love me some crystals. I will say, um, 4-3. Woo. 4-3, not the best resolution. Not the best aspect ratio, rather for uh, platformers because shit just appears and you're like so close to it. Much as I like these games, um, I would love to see Donkey Kong. Just literally this game, but in six, 16 by nine. And Sonic even more so, Sonic like doubly so. I like Sonic, but oh my gosh, it is too fast for that resolution and, or that ratio. And so many Sonic games are like that. Like the great majority of Sonic games have not gotten to enjoy at least the great majority of 2D Sonic games have not gotten to enjoy 16 by 9. It's a damn shame. Harry Potter fan videos. That's some real that's some real gamer shit right there. But yeah, video quality was always super bad. Um, I don't like what they're doing with their hands. I don't like that. Um, my uploads are lost to the wind. My oldest is seven years old. Speaking of lost to the wind, people ask me if I do face, if I'll ever do a face cam. I actually had just no fear, just did face, face videos. Face videos. Um, am I going the right way? Um, 
I'm talking about, um, I think I'm talking about like informatics and stuff. And I think one was even like political and <laughs> they got like almost no comments. So I was like glad for that, but it's, um, I don't know, it was a different time for me. I felt very like that I need to be professional. I went by my full first name. Huh? Oh, here we go. Um, Nani. What is the point of this? Oh, those are just from before in the level, I guess. I, mean, I just kind of did those. I, I figured if there was something about my classes that kind of prompted that. Because this was in college. This has got to be... There's got to be something over... Oh, there's a banana. Okay, I was going to say, there had to be something. Because of the scrolling. That, that is one good way to show there's... Hey, kids, there's something over here. Kind of scroll a little over eagerly. Oh. B buy escargo. Oh, wait. No, you're not escargo. Um, Expresso. Alright, what's its name? What's the... Hold on, it's going to bug me. Um, uh... Oss. Yeah, espresso. Speaking of, oh hey, oh. <laughs> do I get to keep him? Oh, I do. All right, I'll be slightly more careful. This is not a good level for him. I gotta say. This is not a good level to have that kind of speed. It's interesting. I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's really cool to see a speedrun. Though this speedrun probably doesn't get him. I bet it probably saves like one second to not get him. Which isn't that like a frustrating thing in speedruns where like... There's something that should be really cool to see. But it just happens to be faster to skip doing that or something. And it's like, oh, <laughs> Chocobo sure hit different. I mean, pretty obviously what chocobos are based on. Not specifically espresso, but... Also, I like his shoes. Her shoes. Whatever. Whatever the ostrich is. Right, get, get, get your booty up there! Alright, so this one is a lot easier to get the double multiplier right. I'm gonna make sure to get 300. The uh, the rhino is a lot harder. In fact, I could have waited a little bit more, but whatever. I don't have the timing. Oh. <laughs> I don't have the timings down. By the way, the general not tile-based looking appearance of this game is something that a lot of people take for granted in SNES games. Like a lot of people say, oh, that looks like an SNES game on a lot of stuff that if even possible on SNES, which most of them aren't, um, would have been incredibly impressive on an SNES. Like the, the, the sprites and stuff are really incredible here. The this was not easy stuff to do. Even just, I know it's like rendered 3D and everything, but even just having sprites that are big, having, you know, world segments that are this big and not like obviously made out of teeny tiles, that's, that's a really big deal on SNES. Well, oh, it's the traitors from the Great Kong War. God, I, don't you love shit like that? They're just like forever changes something in your brain. Like, I'll never see a Mankey Kong and not think about the Great Kong War, which isn't even a real thing. It's just some dumb fan thing that, a, that an 11 year old wrote in a wiki. And it's changed my life forever in a very small and insignificant way. But still, here we are talking about it. It's not that insignificant. There we go. I hate when you can't see below where you're trying to go. <gasps> Traitor! So I get passionate about the Great Kong War. 
Book of Mario Google translations. What? Do you think somebody at Nintendo knows about the Great Kong War now? Like, somebody must know. Well, I guess rare in this case. Croctopus Chase. The translation of Paper Mario games. Oh yeah, that's something I've seen people do. They like Google translate a game back and forth like 50 times. Oh, here's, those, here's some palette swaps. Though I think these are actually... Actually, is this palette swapped or is it just different graphics? I think it's palette swapped. I like how if you only played video games and you like never encountered animals in real life, you just assume that absolutely everything in the world is trying to kill you. Which, in some animal cases, is not not particularly far from the truth. I mean, wasps sure are. There's a very large cross-continental war in in Paper Mario Google Translated. Good, I'm glad. Australia. True, true. Gotta go fast. Like, this octopus just hates your family. He will break you. Alright, voice is getting a little scratchy. I think we're gonna finish this at the end of this world. We're about halfway through. Probably, well, more than halfway in terms of levels, but the later levels are harder. There's just really two worlds after this. They're much harder, and then the final boss, which will probably take me a few tries. Um, probably not going to get through all that tonight. But, um... Uh, when to stream that? I guess probably Saturday. Tomorrow goes trick, by the way, which is part of the reason I need to end a little early. Just because I do need to be talking tomorrow, and I I was hoping to finish up one. Man, I'm going to be releasing one videos for, um, until, the, like, September at this rate. I just released number eight today. And there are uh, 23 so far. There's going to be at least, I would say, probably, like, five more. Depends on how big of a zone the last thing is. I saw that secret area, but I... I'm too babu to go for it. Do you know what's funny? There was a video of, um... Shit. There's a video of this really hard Super Mario World ROM hack, and this guy just, like, very humorously failing to complete it. And like years after he made the video, he changed his channel name to like 911 Truth or something like that. It's like, what happened here? What? <laughs> I don't remember what the hell it was called. But it was like some kind of impossible Mario hack. You know the kind of like Mario 1. And it was pretty funny too, but just all of a sudden Conspiracy theory, man. Uh, I think we already saw this one. Games never look like this when I was a lad. <laughs> kind of funny to see this in this particular context. Uh, yeah, we, we already saw that screed. Torchlight Trouble. How many more levels are there? Alright. Oh, something kind of interesting about this. You couldn't even see how many more levels there were. It was only the next one. Oh, this one. See, again, this lighting thing, this was really cool. Oh god. Ow. One of the- <laughs> Gamer moment. Um, one of the few enemies that makes DK a better one to lead with. Also, I think Donkey Kong's roll, you can- Yeah, you can do the jump, the mid-air jump with Donkey Kong's roll. It's just- so slow, it doesn't really work very well. But it can work for like that thing. By the way, you'll notice the game kind of lags. A lot of people talk about SNES games as always being like perfect 
16 or 60 fps and like never dropped a frame and like back in those days things were good but now things are like 30 fps and like no <laughs> lots of nes games you would defeat enemies just because the game would lag and snes games could pretty often get to be a little laggy Yeah, the whole myth of SNES games always having perfect performance. I think that started around the um, PS1 days because, hey, PS1 games could have pretty rough performance. N64 too. Why can't I... What? Oh, I think you need Diddy. Oh, that's frustrating. Some enemies get auto cold just to free memory. Yeah, some games would do stuff like that too. Or enemies would stop spawning. And a favorite one of mine, Donkey Kong 64. If the if it detects the game is lagging, it it runs like actions happen faster. So the game like you actually move faster when the game is lagging more. And as I'm sure you can guess, um, speedrunners abuse the heck out of that, right? So. Um, Alright, that's enough. Um, so speedrunners abuse the heck out of that, and um, there are, I think there's some areas you can clip through just because you, um, you're you going so fast. Because going faster than the game originally intended to. Ah, rip. Um, going faster than, than the games intended you to very often leads to clip it, clips in older games. Yeah, there's, watch some speedrun videos of Donkey Kong 64. Um, you'll see some cool stuff. It'll be more enjoyable than the real game, frankly. By the way, we might do a Donkey Kong watch party someday. Let me show... Um, The, the, the videos, they're on YouTube, so I don't think anyone cares about the copyright for them anymore. Let me show you just real quick here. Um, it's really rough and weird. Banana Slamma. I hope I don't get content ID'd for this. Please, please. <laughs> you may slap it once. That's where that comes from. And that's, that's, um, what's his name? Funky Kong is like scary. He's like blonde. But yes, it's, it's our whole the whole cartoon is animated like that. Like, look at this. Beautiful. And Donkey Kong makes this face, this specific face a lot. And his weird eyebrow thing is particularly unsettling. I never really thought about it too much um, until I saw the, the cartoon, but it's weird. Everyone makes the same face in this goddamn cartoon. This, that, this, that's the one face. Look, he looks like a skin gorilla. We might have to do a watch party for this. Um, you know what's weird? Donkey Kong's voice actor. They do. They do. Um, they do singing segments way too often in the show. Donkey Kong's voice actor actually has an incredible voice. Um, his segments are actually quite good. The other characters are terrible though. But yeah, um, we might have to do that sometime. Slightly weird palette swap here. I, it's supposed to make it look cold, yes, but it looks a little weird. I do love this, like, giant treetop, like, maze city kind of aesthetic, too. Like I said, any any outstanding aesthetic in um, this game or Yoshi's Island really stood out to me. As well as some early-ish um, Final Fantasy games. Kirby, of course. Ugh. 
the Kong letters aren't frankly worth going for at this point in the game. The odds of getting one life are not worth risking your life multiple times through the level. I'm trying to get the things. I think it is necessary to get the 101% though. The way this game tracks secrets makes no sense to me. I think you just have to enter every secret once, but like secrets don't... Secrets don't give you anything in this game. There's no like coins to collect. Also level where the animal pet makes it that was way too fast. Animal pet makes it way easier. Wow, that level is fast. I'm thinking about doing this in one stream, but I be I better not. We better make it two two videos. Um, I'm not particularly sure what happened there. Really naughty. Very naughty. I think it has to be like not jumping. Yeah, he, he, you need a really weird specific situation to land on him. I don't understand it. Well, that was easy. Oh, we haven't crushed a single one with the big banana and I'm disappointed. That was always a classic. Creme Croc Industries Inc. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll show you one. Oil Drum Alley. This game, this level beat my ass as a kid. I, I, I have. Good music at least though. I have to beat it now. I have to beat it just to be like, yes. Oh, hold on. Okay. There we go. The Money Banana of Doom misses again. Yeah, I, I died. I have no idea how many times on that level. I think I interrupted myself saying this like a billion years ago, but it's weird how this game uses a lot of like left-right sound stuff. Um, you know, stereo effects and stuff, but like different sounds in the left and right. I'm not particularly sure why, or maybe that, maybe that just... I like landed in a oops. Well, that was a waste. Did you see that I got like caught in a barrel or something? Um yeah, I don't know if that like lets you use more sounds on the SNES or something. There was a lot of weird stuff you had to do to get sound working well in uh, older consoles. It really was not just load in an MP3 and there you go. It was not like that. Box is probably close to the edge of the sprite. You know what's fun? I don't even remember what part of this was so difficult. Uh, it's probably just a later part of the level, maybe. Well, I remember this being a nightmare. Oh, there's the traitor. There's the race traitor. Was it a later level, maybe? Maybe I was just bad at video games. But like that, that... Obviously that first part of Frosty World, that was a nightmare. Um, and I'm sure I did bad as that as a kid, unless I lucked into that secret, maybe? But I remember those barrels. I remember the lots of stuff. Oh, it was this part, probably. It's probably the part where we have to jump over these things. How Mega Man-ish. I... It's gotta be... Oh, okay. It had to have been this part. Oh, yeah, it was, it was definitely that part. I was about to say, like, that had to be something. 
I'm gonna level in Super Tux, that was terrible, because it what one block wide jumps in a row. Uh, yeah, lots of Super Mario World hacks love stuff like that. That's part of why I don't do too many. Even Super Mario- oh, damn it. Even Super Mario World hacks not meaning to be super hard. They're usually quite difficult. They're like a lot harder than the regular game. And some levels in Super Mario World, some of those special world levels could be pretty tough. Super Tux is a PC. Oh yeah, I, I know Super Tux. I never played it. But yeah, that, that was very common way back when. It was like, we can have our own Mario. Like, hell, I think one of id software's like first, like, we can do cool stuff on computers demos was um, being able to do smooth Mario Bros. 3 style scrolling. Um... Oh fuck. Um, on PC? Yes, consoles used to be able to do things that was considered way too difficult for PC. Um, consoles used to be like, wow. Um, and consoles are not as weak as people say, like, currently even. Um, the whole underpowered thing is mostly a meme. So they have a weird pattern, right? I think I'm past the worst of it. I'm past all of it. Yeah, there's the weird thing where it comes up and out twice and then it kind of lingers. And I probably just wasn't very good at that as a kid. But we're gonna... Oop. How do I save state on, on this? There's a thing that you do. There it is. Okay. Isn't it? No. There we go. Okay. So, we're gonna finish this. We may just do a random day next week if I feel like I really wanna do it. Or um, we may do, boo, boo, boo. Um, maybe Saturday, I don't know. But we'll finish this up next week. Just two more worlds and final boss. Um, I don't know if we'll expect DKC2, maybe if a lot of people request it. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, Ghost Trick, let me get a link to that. Um, tomorrow we'll be playing Ghost Trick and again, this was kind of our, just a little celebration of 11 years on YouTube. My first game here. Make sure to join the Discord if you have not. The bot is so slow on the draw when I post that. I always get paranoid that it's not going to post. It does eventually though. There it goes. So, hope to see everybody in the Discord. Thanks for joining me on this crazy 11 year journey of posting videos, I guess. Uh, here's to another 11 years. <laughs> See you later, and we will we will finish this, but probably next week sometime. I gotta stop talking. <laughs> people don't, people underestimate how hard it is to just talk a lot. <laughs> anyway.